President William Ruto has waived the hospital bill of Mokami Kemathi, wife to celebrated Kenyan freedom fighter Dedan Kemathi. Mokami had been detained at a hospital in Nairobi after her family failed to raise over 1.3 million shillings in hospital bills. Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa, who visited Mokami Kemathi in the hospital, said the Kenya Kwanzaa government is looking into the plight of freedom fighters who are still alive and wallowing in poverty, despite having fought for the freedom of this country. 101 year old Mukami Kimadi, who has been receiving medical attention at a hospital in Nairobi, was reportedly not allowed to leave the facility of unpaid medical bills. <laughs> President William Ruto came to her head on Sunday of setting the medical bill, which had accumulated to 1.3 million shillings. I want to thank President William Ruto for his swift action to restore the dignity of Mukami Kemadi, who has been held in your hospital for failure to clear her bills. The president and I were not aware of this matter because we have been away on a working tour in Nyanza region until last night when this matter was brought to our attention by the MP for Ibaka Central, Benjamin Gadiru. And on our return to Nairobi this afternoon, we have come here to intervene. This is just one of the many cases that face the heroes of our freedom struggle. Deputy President Rigadi Geshangwa, who made the intervention on behalf of the president, said despite having fought for the freedom of the country, many freedom fighters continue to live in abject poverty. Despite the fact that the colonialists had airplanes, they had bombs, they had grenades, they had guns, they had everything. But the freedom fighters led by Dead and Kemad Washuri had nothing but a panga and a sheer resolve to liberate their land. We pay special tribute to them and we are saddened that such freedom fighters who should be enjoying and living in a decent manner are stuck with medical bills. That should never have been the case. Gashagwa said the Kenya Kwanzaa government is looking into the plight of freedom fighters who are still alive and wallowing in poverty. The previous governments have not been able to address this matter conclusively. The president and I and the rest of us in government are sized of this matter. And a lot of consultations is, are going on to deliberate on the fit of the heroes of our freedom struggle. I want to urge all those Kenyans, the home guards and the collaborators who betrayed the Mau Mau cause, if God could touch their hearts for them to surrender the thousands of acres that they hold, idle land, when the real freedom fighters who fought for the freedom of this country are suffering. With only the British government knowing exactly where Dead and Kimathi was buried, Mukami asked the Deputy President to intervene and help her find the remains of Dead and Kimathi. Ben Chumba, Sunday Express.